Hi Ernie, I want to show you, um, now I'm doing a square wave pulse, and this is a scalar square wave, so <clears throat> I'm showing you a little bit of my circuit here, what I'm doing, I'm using the big plasma ball today, I'm not using the little one, I'm using the big one, <laughs> and I'm, um, I got my, uh, my oscilloscope here set to one kilovolt per division there's your there it is let me see if we can get that comes out blurry eh, trying to use a phone is not a good thing but uh, there it is it's, that's a square wave type of scalar I all I have to do is adjust my circuit over here and I can change the way that I make that scalar wave uh, transmit and I can actually pulse it by creating a little bit of a spark gap right here like you saw earlier I can make it a round wave like an AC wave uh, not a perfectly one, perfect one because of the square nature of the chip inside uh, these Chinese plasma balls. But um, it's not a spark gap like Nikola Tesla was using. But it's pretty much the same concept of what, is, what he did with the, uh, um, <laughs> his Tesla coils, but in much smaller fashion. And we're able to use, I'm able to use electronics to modify signals and do so forth. I can even transmit and I can actually bend the scalar wave actually into a Hertzian wave. And even though it's made out of Hertzian waves, I can actually bend that because waves are waves are waves and you can bend them. You can do anything you want with a wave. So I can manipulate the waves any way I want to and make them do whatever the heck I want them to do, which is pretty cool. And uh, I've been able to transmit power from one end of the room to the other. I can make it go through the walls. I can do all kinds of things. And I can light LEDs and I can light them pretty bright. And if I do my circuit to uh, make this LED really bright, I'm going to be using solar technology uh, and solar technology. When I get that to the highest intensity, I can uh, set it up to the frequency of the panel and produce way more than even with the scalar. I would be doing. Uh, anyways, uh, using an antenna and a ground on this will actually increase the uh, the power. So that's why my uh, experiment worked the last when I did that um, that antenna thing is because I was using my oscillator as a plasma as a plasma ball, and that's what pretty much the effect. Anyways, Ernie, I'll leave you here, and I'll explain more later. Bye.